Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you today for another perfume review. And today video, we are going to talk about a perfume I just love. I fell in love with this perfume. This is a huge, huge discovery. A perfume I just found, you know, by chance, online, randomly. I was on Fragantica, reading all the reviews, super intrigued by this perfume. I ordered a sample and I was just blown away by the smell. This is such a delicate, natural, sophisticated, elegant perfume. I had many, many, many compliments since I wear this perfume. This is such a discovery for me. I got so many compliments. It's a very original, unique, elegant smell. So I'm so, so glad to present you this coup de coeur of 2021. So today I'm going to present you this beautiful, beautiful perfume. This is Murmur by Van Cleef and Arpel. So look at how interesting the bottle is. It's a very, very unique, unique design. I love niche perfume just because of that. So the form of the bottle, I got a simple, but the original bottle is bigger. It's exactly the same unique design, the same form. And the form of a, of a bottle is like um, a flower. It's like a flower, what we call arum flower, arum, A-R-U-M. So you can check online, it's exactly the same, exactly the same form, the same design. And in the symbolic, the flower symbolic, Aram represents the desire, very, very ardent desire for someone. Pure, intense love, complete love, physical, intellectual. It really symbolize a pure and complete love for someone and interestingly some notes of this perfume this is a very white flower white flower delicate intense perfume there's a lot of white flower in, in this perfume with tuberose it's very unique very very complex it is two nose actually for this perfume i find super interesting the combination of two different nose so you have two different directions to this perfume but interestingly, you have something very, uh, very sensual, very, very sensual in this perfume, but it's not aggressive. It's not uh, sexy, aggressive. It's the sophisticated sensual. So this is a very, very beautiful perfume and you're gonna find different, different direction. But for me, it's a combination of first by Von Cliff and Apple because you're gonna find this soapy, vintage soapy powdery smell aldehyde very very characteristic of Van Cleef with a combination of white flower jasmine lily of the valley lily and also a lot of tuberose because in the base you're gonna find some vanilla some musk some tuberose so there's a combination of very soft delicate elegant white flowers with a with this aldehyde, this very Van Cleef aldehyde, which I love. And on the base, a very, very oriental and dark intense base. So this perfume is so, so unique. The smell is so delicate. This perfume just blow, blow my mind how beautiful, beautiful it is. So just a few words about uh, this perfume, a few introductions about this perfume. This perfume has been launched in 2002, Murmur by Van Cleef, I translate it's Whisper, so beautiful, beautiful name also. And it wasn't, interestingly, it wasn't a very huge commercial success. Uh, interestingly, it was a flop. <laughs> it didn't really work. And Van Cleef wanted to modernize their image. Um, they said that this perfume is for a young, modern and very elegant woman. She has a very natural look. She's very natural, very elegant, but she's very demanding uh, concerning a sillage. She wants something very unique, very intense at the same time, a very elegant perfume. 
And I think they, Ron Cliff wanted also to modernize their image. So this perfume is for a young woman. I'm gonna say in her 30, probably 30, 30, 20. Even a very confident woman can wear this, uh, this perfume. Uh, yeah, for me it's a perfume for 20, 30, even 40. A self-confident modern woman, uh, probably. And I don't know why it wasn't a huge commercial success because this perfume is extremely, extremely beautiful. So this is discontinued. Please, Van Cleef, bring back this, this uh, treasure. Bring back, uh, I don't know why, but please bring back this one. It's such a modern, elegant, classy, unique perfume. And they decided to, to discontinue this one. But you might find a lot of bottles at a very, very nice price on eBay. I was able to find, for example, for 30 euros, a huge bottle of this one. So this is, I think this is a plus, you know, for this continue and not successful perfume. You're still able to find a lot of bottles at a very, very uh, reasonable price. So I'm very happy to have discovered this perfume. For me, this perfume is like, you know, it's the same huge coup de coeur I had for Boucheron, uh, Boucheron Bracelet, Jaipur, or Boucheron Boucheron. Exactly the same engouement, the same passion, the same huge coup de coeur. This perfume is a treasure. I swear this perfume is a treasure. And you don't find that kind of smell like that anymore in the normal or you know modern collection it's a very very old school intense perfume this is really a huge huge coup de coeur so concerning the nose also i like perfume with a different different nose um, and there are two nose interestingly i have made some research because i had such a coup de coeur for this perfume there are two notes for this one. The first note is Alberto Moria. So Alberto Moria is a very, very famous nose and he has a very classy style. He created a lot, a lot of iconic perfume with very, very classy, very classic style. I'm going to say a lot of white flower. Usually he create a lot of floral perfume and they are very iconic and classy. And the second nose is Jacques Cavalier. And Jacques Cavalier is a very interesting nose. It creates more niche, intense, dark, and very iconic, but very niche, niche perfume. Uh, it creates few perfumes for Calvin Klein, for example. And it's the same nose who creates one of my favorite dark night perfume, Noir de Noir by Tom Ford. Um, I'm thinking to do a review about this one. This is a very intense, dark uh, perfume. Noir de Noir by Tom Ford combines truffle, chocolate, rose, a very, very mature and aged rose. It's a very dark perfume. And interest interestingly, you're gonna find this two direction and the two nose in this perfume. You're gonna find in the opening notes, a very, very beautiful and classy notes with white flowers, Aldehyde, the Van Cleef Aldehyde, so people really smell very feminine, very delicate. Remind me a lot of first, for example. This first in this perfume, but com combined with white flowers, very, very present jasmine from uh, Madagascar. And on the base, you're gonna find, you know, you're gonna find Jacques Cavalier nose. You're gonna find his signature with a very dark, very intense, um, not super super dark, but very intense signature with musk, sandalwood, tuberose. I love combination of white flowers and tuberose. If I have to define this perfume in just three words, it will be classic. This is a very classy, classic perfume, very elegant. Second will be female. It's a very, very feminine perfume. Super, super feminine. If I have to define femininity or what is feminine for me in one perfume, it will be something like this one. Very soft, elegant, delicate. Feminine is something like that, but at the same time, very mysterious, very intense, something, you know, you open the Pandora box. It's exactly like that. And the third word will be gorgeous. This perfume for me inspire me a very gorgeous woman. She's gorgeous, she's beautiful, very uh, nice 
face trash super elegant with a very very elegant long dress this perfume inspire me you know classy feminine and gorgeous so first it's a very classy uh, perfume because also of the alberto moria inspiration you're gonna find a lot of jasmine flower jasmine flower is very classy very very classy flower in every perfume when you find jasmine you find this very classy elegant touch so jasmine some back jasmine of course white rose there's no rose or dark rose in this perfume that's why it's so interesting I think the nose decided to put, put something very intense, more on the base, but not, not with the rose. And they de decided to stick to white rose. It's very rare to find perfume with white rose. And you know, white rose really symbolize purity, innocence. If someone offer you white rose, it's a very pure, pure uh, love. It's very pure, it's very, very beautiful. And the smell of ripe rose is a little bit more sweet or soft. More delicate than a very dark aged rose. So it's very, very classy and you're gonna find a lot of lily in this perfume. So super, super classy notes, you know, on the opening and on the middle notes. My second word is female, feminine, and you know, very, very sensual. It's not a sexy perfume, but it's very sensual. Uh, perfume. There's nothing aggressive in this perfume, but you're gonna find this very dry, deep, aldehyde, very Van Cleef. If you love first, if you really love first, you're gonna love this perfume because you're gonna find this very powdery, aldehyde smell on the dry down of this perfume. And it, there's no sweet, no sweet notes. If you don't like flowery or sweety flowery notes in perfume you're gonna also love this perfume it's not sweet and you know it's very very sensual because all these white flowers are combined are mixed with woodsy notes and the third word will be gorgeous this perfume for me is so gorgeous so so feminine so gorgeous i mean it's like a very very delicate bouquet of of mixed of white flowers and the dry down of this perfume is extremely lovely and sophisticated for me at, at the same time it's super super beautiful super beautiful feminine perfume um, and we're gonna start to smell this perfume start to smell this beautiful perfume so i'm gonna spray this perfume because it's such a huge coup de coeur i find there's a difference when i spray and when i put uh, the sample on my skin so I'm gonna use a spray like that with this one and I'm gonna spray this perfume it's a gorgeous gorgeous perfume I swear this is such a gorgeous perfume so let's uh, let's spray oh my gosh <sighs> oh la 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 Oh my gosh, it, for me it's a combination of uh, first by Van Cleef and um, Giorissimo by Dior. You know, Giorissimo is also one of my favorite perfumes, it's my signature because there's a lot of white flowers. It's really a mix of first and Giorissimo, it's super interesting. And the dry down of this perfume is gorgeous. Gorgeous. The opening notes are very, a little bit fresh, aromatic, fresh, still with a lot of flower. And the dry down, it's a combination of very um, powdery aldehyde with an explosion of bouquet of white flower. The right rose is very intense, very, very intense. And the base, you're gonna find some very oriental notes, a little bit musky and woodsy. This is such a gorgeous perfume. And to be honest with you, I never smell something like that. And you're not able to find that type of, you know, of complexion, of complex blend like that in modern and current perfume. It's impossible. It's impossible. So please, Please Van Cleef, bring back <laughs> this perfume. 
If someone is watching my video and working for Van Cleef perfume, please bring back this perfume because it's a, it's divine. It's divine perfume, divine perfume. So on the opening notes, you're gonna find a little bit of freesia, white rose. Can you find some perfume with white rose on the opening? No, I don't think so. Orange and mandarin. And Aldehyde, interestingly, is not listed on Fragantica, but my nose, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm right, my nose smells Aldehyde, and the same type of Aldehyde you find in First by Van Cleef. A very soapy, little bit vintage soapy Aldehyde. Similar to Chanel number no. 5, but the soapy, oh, interestingly, the soapy of uh, the Aldehyde of uh, Van Cleef, or First, it's more a little bit sweeter. For me, it's sweeter than an um, Aldehyde of number number five. And on the on the middle of this of this very fresh opening uh, note, you're gonna find an explosion of white flowers, bouquet. So jasmine, lily, blossom, tuberose, chinamon. The chinamon is very very delicate, so it's a very very soft, delicate, uh, very well blend chinamon notes. But I really smell the aldehyde and the white flower combined with a little bit of freesia right now. So on the base, you're gonna find Brazilian palissandre, rose rood, cedar, musk, and vanilla. So this is a very interesting two different direction and combined it's exquisite, very, very exquisite. Murmur is a very classy, feminine and gorgeous whisper very gorgeous whisper and when you smell this perfume you have just one word at coming you know just to define this woman and this perfume is just gorgeous this is a gorgeous perfume very very feminine very delicate and yeah it's like a combination of um first by van cleef Jorissimo and a little bit of Jaipur. I love Jaipur by Boucheron. And when you smell Jaipur, you have also this fresh, this very fresh opening floral notes. And you have exactly the same opening notes, very fresh and floral at the opening. But after it's a very dry, dawn, powdery white flower smell with musk and vanilla. I love, I love this perfume. This is, I think this is my last, my last coup de coeur for 2021, I discovered a lot of perfume this year. Um, you know, Boucheron, Jaipur, a lot of perfume, Durissimo, I love, this is my signature perfume now. Uh, but this one is also the last one and I'm so, so happy to have found this beautiful treasure. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video for this very huge discovery review. Don't forget to check my over video. Don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment if you know this perfume. This is a very niche discontinued perfume from Van Cleef but super beautiful, very interesting. So leave a comment if you know this perfume, if you used to wear this perfume. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you very soon for another perfume review. Bye.